This is a story about possible best football player ever. This is a story about one great career. This is a story about glory. This is a story about success. This is a story about winning. This is a story about Meazza, the champion. Giuseppe Meazza, Italian football player. Early life. Giuseppe Meazza, also known as Peppino, was born on August 23, 1910, in Porta Vittoria, Milan, Italy. Having lost his father in 1917 during the fighting of World War I at the age of seven, Pepe grew up in Milan with his mother, Erzilia, helping her sell fruit at the market. He began playing football at six years old, and started out playing barefoot with a ball made of rags on the streets for a team named the Maestri Campionesi. At the age of 12, his mother gave him permission to pursue a footballing career, and he began playing for Gloria FC. It was during this time that a fan gave Meazza his first pair of football boots. At the age of 14, Meazza admired Milan, but was rejected by the team for his small physique. However, he was instead accepted by Milan's cross-city rivals, Inter. Club career Meazza's nickname, Il Balila, the little boy, was given to him in 1927 by his older teammate Leopoldo Conti, who thought that Meazza was too young to be associated to the senior team. Meazza later scored two goals on his official debut, on September 12, 1927, in a 6-2 win against Milanese Unione Sportiva in the Copa Volta in Como, leaving Conti speechless. In his debut season in Serie A, 1929-1930, he scored 31 times in 33 appearances. With Meazza in the squad, Inter won three national championships in 1930, 1938 and 1940. In the 1930 deciding game, he scored a second-half hat-trick to tie the game against Genoa after Inter had been down 3-0. He also helped Inter to win the team's first Coppa Italia in 1939. He was Inter's captain for nine seasons, 1931-1940. An injury put him out of action for most of 38-39 and 39-40, and after having devoted the best part of his career to Intour, Meazza transferred to AC Milan on November 28, 1940. Later in his career he also played for Juventus, Varese, and Atalanta Bergamo. In 1946 he was recalled to Intour as a player coach. He played 17 games, scoring the last two goals of his career to help an Inter team that was in danger of relegation. He was top scorer of Serie A three times, 1930, 1936, 1938, top scorer in the pre-Serie A year of 1929 and top scorer of the Mitropa Cup three times. Meazza is still today the joint fourth top scorer ever in Serie A. He played for Inter 408 times and scoring 283 goals, for AC Milan he played 42 times and scoring 11 goals, for Juventus 10 in 27 games for Varese 7 goals in 20 games and for Atalanta 2 goals in 14 games. In total he played 511 club games and scoring 313 goals. International career Meazza played for Italy national football team 53 games and scoring 33 goals. His debut with the Italy national team was in Rome on February 9, 1930 against Switzerland. Meazza scored twice in that game to help Italy to a 4-2 victory. In 1930, Meazza helped Italy win the Central European International Cup that year. The Cup was a three-year international tournament between the strongest national teams of Central and Eastern Europe. In 1935 he claimed the Central European International Cup again. Alongside Araldo Montsalio and Alfredo Pitto, Meazza is the only Italian player to win two editions of the Central European International Cup. He played for Italy in the 1934 and 1938 World Cups, both of which Italy won. In the 1934 World Cup, which was hosted by Italy, Meazza appeared in every game for the Italy. He scored four times in six games including pre-tournament qualifying match against Greece. In the 1938 World Cup hosted by France, Meazza captained Italy, again playing in every match. Italy won the cup and Meazza scored against Brazil in semi-final game. Giuseppe Meazza played his last match for the national team nine years after his debut, on July 20, 1939, 
at the Olympiastadion in Helsinki, when he captained Italy to a 3-2 win over Finland. He was captain of Italy national team from 1937 to 1939. Style of play Meazza began his professional career as an all-out striker or centre-forward, but he later played for more than half of his career as a creative inside left forward. He further demonstrated his skill and creative ability by also becoming an accomplished offensive midfielder, and even played as a central midfielder or as a deep-lying playmaker in his later career. He was known for his excellent shooting ability and intoxicating dribbling skills, with an eye for the final pass. Despite his average height and slight yet stocky build, he was also an exceptional header of the ball, and was known for his acrobatic abilities in the air. His trademark goals were ones where he would collect the ball at the half-line, dribble through several opponents with a series of twinkle doge shuffles, and turns, until arriving in front of the goal, where he would stop and invite the goalkeeper to attack him like a matador, before faking a shot, then dribbling past the beaten goalkeeper to slot home easily. An accurate penalty taker, Meazza once said, there is nothing worse than having a penalty kick saved by a keeper who didn't understand the fake. Interesting facts Meazza had a difficult childhood, his father was killed in 1917 in World War I. By that stage, the youngster had decided his destiny. I was already obsessed with football, he said. My poor dad, just before I lost him, tried to give me a rifle for San Giuseppe Day, but I rebelled. I was rolling around on the floor and screaming, I wanted a ball. When he was 12, he said, my mother made me swear, absolutely swear, that I would never kick a ball. In rebellion, he decided to undertake a hunger strike, which has given glory to many people, prisoners among them, for around three days. I won the battle when I was allowed to go join up with a team. From there, I signed for the inter-youth side. Meazza still holds the record for the most goals scored in a debut season in Serie A, with 31 goals in his first season, 1929-30. The next season, he scored five goals in a single game, twice in one season, against Pistoles and Verona. That same season, he scored six goals as Inter beat Venezia 10-2. April 27, 1930 was the first time Inter ever played AS Roma in Milan. Inter won 6-0 and Meazza scored four goals scoring his first three within four minutes of the game. In the World Cup 1938 semi-final against Brazil, with the score at 1-0 Italy were awarded a penalty after Silvio Piola was fouled by Domingos de Guia. As Meazza stepped up to take the kick, with the chance to double his team's lead, his shorts fell down, as the elastic in them had ripped. He held them up with his left hand, but he still managed to score, beating the Brazilian goalkeeper Walter from the spot by placing the ball into the corner. There's something more about Meazza. Vittorio Pozzo, the mastermind coach behind both Italian World Cup victories, wrote of Meazza, he was a born forward. He saw the game, understood the situation, distributed the ball carefully and made the team offense operate. Having him on the team was like starting the game 1-0 up. Bruno Acari, who played with Meazza at AC Milan and later coached, once said that Peppino never wanted to hear about tactics. He was a simple person who became a king when he entered the goal box, with a technical ability that was comparable to Pele. He loved his cabriolet, champagne and women and was the only player on the national team that was allowed to smoke. Meazza was famous for humiliating the best defenders of the era and for sleeping at a brothel the night before a match. Not known for having a particularly high work rate, sometimes he would not get out of bed until his teammates were already finished training. He also loved the tango and used this proficiency to make him unpredictable on the field and could score goals at foxtrot tempo. Summary of one great career In his brilliant career Giuseppe Meazza won Two times World Cup Three times Serie A Two times Central European Cup One time Coppa Italia he was also three times top goal scorer of Serie A, and three times top goal scorer of Mitropa Cup. Meazza won 1934 FIFA World Cup Golden Ball, and he was elected in 1934 FIFA World Cup All-Star Team. In year to 2011, Meazza was inducted into Italian Football Hall of Fame and in 2015 into Walk of Fame of Italian Sport.
After the professional career After retiring from played football, Giuseppe Meazza became a journalist and then a coach. He trained Pro Patria, on various occasions his in tour, as well as the national team in the years 52-53. Meazza was also the first Italian coach to coach a foreign team, Besiktas, for five months in 1949. But the thing to which he dedicated himself most was to teach football to kids. He became responsible for youth teams and it was he who discovered interstar, Sandro Mazzola. Meazza died on August 21, 1979 of cancer, and is buried at the Monumental Cemetery of Milan. He had asked for a small, private funeral and requested that his death not be publicized until after the service had taken place. I was Meazza, he had said the year before his death. Everyone knows me. In 10, 20 years, people attending football matches will still talk about Meazza, will know who Meazza was. On March 3, 1980, the Stadium San Siro, which is the home of AC Milan and Intour, was named in honor of Giuseppe Meazza, 